a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side uh, 10 meter and 40 second now i am taking a square field and uh, this is a b c d and uh, the square field size is equal to 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter and 10 meter so and uh, i am taking the a as the origin from point a the farmer uh, going from a to b then b to c then c to d then d to a and uh, that is equal to one round this is equal to one round for completing one round he takes 40 seconds so uh, the total distance here is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 it's going to be 40 meters so to cover 40 meter he takes a time of uh, 40 seconds so first i am calculating the speed of the farmer speed v is equal to distance by the time he covered a distance of 40 meters in a time of 40 seconds so on dividing i am going to get 1 meter per second so the farmer is traveling with a speed of 1 meter per second now uh, we are asked to calculate what will be the magnitude of the displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minutes and 20 seconds so t is equal to 2 minutes and then 20 seconds and i know 1 minute equal to 60 seconds so 2 into 60 plus 20 that is equal to 140 seconds now let us calculate the total distance covered in 140 seconds now i know the timing so what is the total distance covered in 140 seconds now that i am going to calculate so i know the uh, distance covered covered in 140 seconds that is equal to velocity into the time velocity is equal to 1 meter per second and time is equal to 140 seconds so i am going to get 140 meters and then i am writing distance okay covered in one round and that is equal to become one round means 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 it's going to be 40 meters so this is first equation this is second mm-hmm. equation i am going to divide 1 by 2 that give you what the total number of rounds the total rounds that is equal to 140 divided by 40 so if i cancel this i am going to get 3.5 round now we try to find at the end of 3.5 round where he is and then we try to calculate the displacement from a we starting and a to b b to c c to b d to a one round and then again going for the second round and then third round third round he is back to the position a then another uh, half a 3.5 round means it will be like this like this so this is the point. okay so the starting point is going to be a the final point is going to be b and uh, we all know how to find the displacement suppose a person uh, walking from one point to the other point a to b okay in a zigzag manner you are asked to calculate displacement means you concentrate on the starting point and then the end point the line connecting the starting point and the end point that we are going to call it as what displacement okay and the direction is from a to b like that here the starting point starting point is going to be a and the c is going to be the end point if i connect the line between starting point and the end point that line represents the displacement and the direction of displacement is from a to c so i am taking this right angle triangle acd separately a c d i am taking it separately and then 10 meters this is 10 meters i have to calculate what is the displacement ac i have to calculate so in order to calculate this i am going to apply the uh, pythagoras theorem ac square that will be equal to ad square plus bc square so that is equal to ad square equal to 10 the whole square and dc square equal to 10 the whole square so ac square that will be equal to 10 square 100 100 plus 100 200 200 so ac is equal to root of 200 that is equal to 10 root 2 and uh, if i substitute the value of root to 1.414 10 into 1.414 so that is equal to 14.14 meters okay that is the magnitude of the displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minutes and 20 seconds subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for important updates